What's up YouTubers? Gonna do another video here and talk about these Demon 170 allocations. Is like most everybody else, everybody is trying to call these dealers and get on a list, get an opportunity, and most people are getting at least a hundred grand over sticker for these cars. And then like my last video, I, I feel like we were led to believe as demon owners that we should get first crack. Now I've been doing some thinking on this and I feel like while Dodge can't control exactly what the dealerships do, I feel like they could have incentivized better than just saying, if you sell your demon at sticker, We'll build your car first. Now here's what's gonna happen. Cause they kind of did this with the original Demon. There's gonna be a lot of dealerships out there. On paper, they're selling you that car for MSRP. So they can get their car built first. And somehow on the side, whether it's accessories or parts whatever it may be their markup is going to be there so on paper to dodge they're going to sell these cars for sticker so they can get them built but they're still going to get their markup uh not all of them you know some of them they're going to work that markup in there somehow so it's not that good of an incentive after thinking about it, this is what I would have loved to have seen. Because I, I'm i a loyal person and probably loyal to a fault. And while I would have loved to have been able to have a chance to get one of these Demon 170s through my local dealership, because they are a small dealership, they are not getting an allocation. Now, I'll speak a little bit more to that in a little bit because... It's weird how some of these allocations went down. But right now, I would have loved to have got through my own dealership. It wasn't going to happen. They're too small. So just like anybody else, I had to search and call and call. Now, while I can't say that I'm getting one yet, I am still hopeful. But the way I would have loved to seen Dodge and put pressure on the dealerships would have been to, all right, let's allocate a thousand Demon 170s to dealerships. Now, I don't care if they're big dealerships. I understand that, you know, if you're selling more, you should get more. So I don't, it doesn't matter to me who gets the allocations. What I love to have seen is Dodge allocate a thousand cars and for the original demon owners who still currently own their demons i would have loved to say dodge tell the dealers if you sell your allocation to an original who still currently owns their demon if you sell to them for sticker we'll give you another allocation so whether they want to whatever they do with the second allocation i, I don't necessarily care of the 3,000 original demon owners, how many are still currently have their demon? I, I don't know. You know, could it be 1,500? Could it be 1,000? Because we all know a lot of guys got their hands on these cars to flip them, make money. Uh, we do know some were wrecked. We do know dealers just held on to them. So the big three responses I got from dealerships when I called was, we don't know what we're doing yet because everybody's out in Vegas. All the GMs, a lot of the owners. So that was one response. We don't know what we're doing yet. So we'll just we're just taking information. We'll we'll put you on a list or whatnot. Then the other response was pretty much a hundred grand over sticker. And then I'm talking to some, you hear some are two hundred. Uh, which is just absolutely crazy. I am still hoping to have a chance at this car. Not sure yet. 
my dealership is actually working on something. Again, I'll talk about that in a minute. But the last response was owners of the dealerships are just, just going to keep them. Which I get. But if we would have done allocations to sell to demon owners and they could have got another allocation, all the demon owners, the loyal demon owners who bought and still have their car five years later, you could have made them happy. And then that dealership could have got another one and then they could have marked it up. They could have did whatever they want. The, the point of this video is they should have honored us a little bit for being loyal and because we want the cars, not just give the dealerships just free reign on making whatever money they want to make. So much hype with the last call, the Hellcats going away. I mean, values are skyrocketing. You know, I, I get all that. But they could have put some more pressure on this. And I honestly feel like Tim Kaniscus, if, if you watch, I feel like the the ball is still in your court here to be able to do something. So I don't know how it'll all fall down. I mean, orders are going in Monday. It's probably too late to change anything. But all we can do is hope, uh, pray that, that Dodge can make this right somehow, but it, it's probably too far gone. Again, I'll come back to my local dealership is trying to get me one and this is i built a good relationship with my dealership I'm, I'm friends with the owner and the sales manager you know i go in there we hang out and talk just just for the the hell of it sometimes so i get a call on friday and they're like hey what were you promised as a vip demon owner getting invited out there i said well they basically sent me an email got vip tickets to go out there in that email it said we had access to dodge hospitality and in my last video i talked about that it wasn't much of a vip experience somewhere along the lines last minute they changed that and there was no hospitality for demon owners so you've got a lot of demon owners that came out there, spent thousands of dollars to get there with the thought in mind that, hey, they're, they've got something for us. Or at least actually get treated like a VIP. Uh, just did not seem to be the case. So what I asked more to my dealership, so what what's going on here? So, you know the dealers are going to talk. Everybody's, you know, no, not everybody's going to be happy over this deal. And that's fine. They're talking to the other dealers. And my dealer is saying, hey, there's a lot of dealers that's way smaller than us that are getting allocations. And there's a dealers that are way bigger than, than us and sell a lot of vehicles that didn't get allocations. What's going on? So, they're dealing with their rep. Uh, which I have not met, but from what I'm told, uh, that rep was a big part of me being able to get my Durango Hellcat. So I'm very thankful for him. Uh, I appreciate my local dealership, and I feel like they fight for me, and I feel like they're fighting for me now. So they asked me to send all my emails, anything, any information I had got from Dodge, they told me to send to them because they're working with their rep and, and working on some things. But what they're finding out is the dealerships that got allocations were the dealers that paid for tickets to the Dodge VIP hospitality tent in Vegas. So I can't confirm 100% truth on this, but it's looking like that Hey, if you bought tickets to the VIP tent in Dodge for the big reveal of the Demon 170, sounds like your dealership got an allocation. Now, if they knew this going in, which my dealership told me that him and his sales manager went out to Vegas for the, you know, the dealer week, 
the convention, but they were told it was going to cost them a thousand dollars a person to go to the VIP. And they're like, it just doesn't make sense for them. They're a small dealership. Hey, they want to come out here for the dealer convention, learn everything that's coming down the pipeline from Stellantis and cars, you know, information, you know, it's good to be in the know, but they're like, it's just not worth it for us to pay a thousand dollars a head to go watch this reveal. But if they knew ahead of time, hey, you pay a thousand dollars a ticket and come out to the reveal, then you get a Dodge Demon 170 allocation. Well, then absolutely they're going to do it hands down because look at the markup. You know, two thousand dollars to get a Dodge allocation just by coming to the VIP tent. Who's not going to do that? So I don't know if it's just something shady or there's handshake deals. I don't know. I'm not going to speculate. All I can go off of is the information my guys at my dealership told me that it doesn't, something just doesn't jive with the way things happen. Again, smaller dealerships than them are getting allocations. Bigger dealerships than them are not getting allocations. But those small dealers went to the review and paid for those VIP tickets. So take it for what you will. This is just information. You know, again, I, I, you know, I will always be as honest as I can, I'm not trying to hype any of this up. This is the information I got. I cannot 100% confirm it. But it, it does look like it could be just a little fishy on how these cars were allocated. So my dealer told me that they're working with the rep, that they are trying to get me an allocation. What is happening is they allocated 2,500 cars. They're wanting to build 3,000. So what they're trying to do is get one of those last 500 cars allocated to that dealer that, I, you know, again, I, I should get, I don't know, I, I still don't know what's going to happen. No, nothing's for sure, especially in this world, especially after COVID. But I've got a shot here. I don't know. And if my dealership is, you know, I got to believe that they're willing to sell me it for sticker. Again, nothing's promised, nothing's guaranteed. But if that's the case, then would one of those last 500 allocations get bumped up and built first? like Tim Kaniska said he would, uh, ahead of all these other dealerships that are charging these crazy markups. So that's all I got. I just thought I'd make a video on it, talk about it, and again, I'm not going to confirm anything. All I'm telling you is just what I was told, and we'll see. If something progresses, or I find something more out, or if I get an allocation, or, or I'm actually going to get one of these, I'm still working on every angle or whatever I can do. But until then, I'm in the same boat as all of you, even though I am a loyal Dodge customer and I own a Demon. I'm the original owner, still currently owned, but it doesn't seem to matter. Uh, I love Dodge and I love Dodge's products, but I feel like we were done a little bit dirty here. But hey, nothing in life is fair and I'm blessed to have what I have and I am always going to consider myself blessed. It, whether I get this car or whether I don't get this car, I still have a demon. I still have other cars. You know, at the end of the day, it's just another car. Would it be absolutely awesome? Oh my gosh, it would. And to be able to have matching bins, oh, that would be so cool. But at the end of the day, it's just another car. And hey, I'll live. You know, life is what you make of it. And I can make a good life with or without that car. So either way, uh, I might still keep making a few videos and, you know, kind of, street racing season's coming up if you know if we uh get to do some racing or something like that maybe i'll take some clips and stuff and 
Uh, again, just kind of my whole idea is to share a little bit of experience of an average car guy just getting to enjoy these cars and going out and having some fun and just being a Mopar fan. Yes, I'm disappointed, but I still love Dodge and their products. They're doing it right with the products. They just might not be selling them right or handling the dealerships right. So that's all I got. Until next time, uh, I appreciate any of you guys that are watching. And feel free to reach out. I'll be honest with you, uh, not doing these videos, I don't even know how to set up comments or anything because I just, I've just i never done this stuff before. So I would love to be able to set up comments to, to just hear feedback on what you guys think or say, but I just don't know how to do it. So maybe I'll learn between now and next time. I don't know. Uh, if anybody can send me anything on uh, how to be able to do that, I would love to find out. So I will talk to you again some other time, and we will try and try to get one of these demons. And if I do, I would love to make videos for you guys. That, that would be awesome. So we'll catch you later sometime, and have a good time. Enjoy these cars. Again, last call. This is it, man. After 23, it's like it's done. And uh, I'm not ready for the electric vehicles, and, and, and they don't really, uh, they don't do anything for me. But I will watch to see what they can do. So we'll see you guys later.